the 27th and yesterday I showed you guys me making um, some lounge shorts I started a top but I, I'm taking a break from it because I'm having a little bit of a challenge so I'm taking a break from the top but I do have something else that I wanted to start um, sewing and practicing with and it is a do-rag um, I'm not going to get into details about what I'm doing specifically, but I am going to show you guys the pattern and um, show you guys me cutting it out and then show you what I do from there. So stay tuned. So that is the pattern that I'm using. It's kind of silky and I just basically have um, my boyfriend's drag pin to it to get the shape. Um, and I'm going to just cut it out and then I'm going to sew the pieces together. So I'll show you guys, um, me sewing it in just a few minutes. Okay guys, so don't mind the other stuff. That's just my little box that I have for all my sewing stuff. Um, but, okay. So, I have the um, shape cut out. I definitely need some tweaking um, because the fabric kept fraying. Um, this is my first time working with this fabric and, you know, I'm still kind of new to this. So, if I had known that the fabric would fray so much, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. Um, but I also made another rookie mistake and one side is um, right side in and one side is inside out. So the do-rag is going to look just a little bit weird because of that like one part is going to be more silky. Can you tell the difference in the two? So yeah like one side on the outside is going to be like this one side on the and outside is going to be like this and the same thing for the inside. Just like how it is just reverse. But I'm going to just go ahead and put it together anyways because... I'm not wasting material to cut the right piece um, to put with it and this is just for me anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing it and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys um, what I have so far. Keep in mind that I did say that one part is inside out so that's what it's looking like on the other side. I think it actually looks pretty good if it were actually the right way. Um, so I'm really happy with that. I'm going to do the zigzag um, stitches for the rest of it to get like rid of these frayed ends and things. And then, um, yeah, that's basically it. So I'm just going to use zigzag stitching for the rest of it and it'll be done. <laughs> 